What's up everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to Breaking News. The SBA extends the EIDL loan opportunity. It is Wednesday, happy hump day to you, November the 17th, 2021. Please do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can find me over on Twitter at TrySmallBiz. Username is SmallBiz. We have since dropped the INC period across multiple social networks. I'll explain more about that later, but I want to share as quickly as possible some very good news that we just heard from Veronica at the SBA in that you now have two full years after your original EIDL loan was approved to apply for the EIDL increase if you are stuck. In reconsideration right now, whether it's a month, six months, or longer, do not worry. They have over $100 billion left over, and it will extend in the next year. And if you do de decline for your idle increase this month or next before it's scheduled to run out on December the 31st, do not worry. You have a full 30 days after that to apply for your reconsideration at pdcrecons at sba.gov. Ladies and gentlemen, all that and more, so pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee, ice cold beer, glass of wine. Here we go. All right, I hope everyone's doing well. We're heading into Thanksgiving week. If you want to tell me in the comments, where are you going? Are you having people over? Are you cooking a big meal? Are you ordering in? Is your football team looking like the Dallas Cowboys? OMG. No chance in hell we're not representing the NFC in the Super Bowl. But let me know how you're doing. And, well, as always, if you're stuck in reconsideration or an idle loan increase or you're struggling to get your grant or you're in reevaluation, let me know where your current situation is. I'll do, of course, whatever I can to help you out. But let me start once again with another warning. Never call, email, text, or WhatsApp or Instagram anybody in the comments because it's a scam. I had a young lady this afternoon, and this pretty much happens every single day, ladies and gentlemen, accuse me of ripping her off to the tune of $13,200 because obviously some asshole using my name and face convinced her to send the money. So for the love of God almighty, please do not send anybody any cash. I've been here for 18 months. I've helped raise billions of dollars along with the other channels and I have never not one fucking time charged anybody a dime, not a penny for any of my advice. Never call, email, text, WhatsApp or anybody with respect to the idle grant or loan. It's a scam. You do not have to pay anyone. And speaking of pay, I know that Ryder over at Skip, somebody I actually trust, is doing a program where they offer, for what I hear, pretty good advice, but you better be damn certain you're dealing with Ryder and or his, st and or his staff because his Skip channel gets scammed as much as me. One way that you can tell it's me, for example, on YouTube, I don't have the blue check yet on Twitter, but on YouTube, my username is, is highlighted in gray. So it's got my name, Jason McElhone, and it's highlighted in the background in gray. If you don't see that, it's not me. But again, I've never shared my personal info. I've never charged anybody a fucking dime, but my name has been absolutely roasted. There's probably thousands of entries right now. If you do a search on why I am a criminal that belongs in jail, I don't fucking think so. So young lady, I am sorry that you got scammed, but it certainly wasn't because I didn't warn you never to call, email, text, or send anybody, especially a stranger, a fucking dime with respect to EIDL. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, as I opened with, we learned from Veronica today, a very nice young lady with the SBA who's been on Rider over at Skip's channel before. She said something that I was unaware of. It must be a new policy in that you have two years to apply for your idle increase on the loan. I'm not talking about grants. On the loan from the date of your original approval. So if you got a loan last year, like myself and many others did, let's say you got your loan on November of 2020. You now have until November of 2022, well after this program was supposed to end to get your loan increase up to $2 million. If you're stuck in reconsideration right now, which 
70% of thereabouts that are still watching me are. Most people have already gotten their money. Believe me, folks, it happens every day. I know it's frustrating, but the reason why 80% of our channel no longer watches yours truly, it's not because of the fucking F-bombs or that they can't stand my stock picks, which for the most part have made people a tremendous amount of money. It's they've already gotten paid. They're on trying to save their small business, their restaurant. We're still working on RRF. I think it's the Senate and Big Ben fucking Cardin that's going to come through. Not the House in the budget reconciliation bill. More on that later. But again, the most important thing of the day. You have two full years to apply for your idle increase after the date of your original loan was approved. So if it goes into 2022 or for some of you, even into 2023, you're fine. If you're in reconsideration right now, you're fine. They're not gonna run out of money over $100 billion left. If you get rejected, let's say on New Year's Eve, as long as you apply for reconsideration by the end of January 2022, you are fine. And you can do that very easily. Once they send you the email rejection, you've got 30 days to respond to PDC recons at sba.gov. So all of this, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic. And you wanna know why else I think it's good? Well, it's obvious that the program is gonna spill over into 2022. And the fact that they have $100 billion, and even with the $2 million caps, of which they have funded billions, most of them without a phone call from a loan officer, leads me to believe they're never gonna get through all that money. So what is one of my arguments gonna be in addition to getting your idle loan forgiven next year, right before the election? I'm gonna campaign real hard to get President Biden and the Democrats who run every branch of government to reappropriate some of that money and move it over into the grant pile so that millions of middle-income communities can get the 10 grand they were fucking promised in the CARES Act. The fact that they're extending this for another year, maybe they have intentions to do that. It would only take a John Hancock, a uh, executive order from President Biden in order to get it done. If they put it in the 1.75 trillion, if it goes through Budget Reconciliation Act, that's fine with me too, because that's where I also think they're gonna have the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. If you saw what I shared yesterday, they had another House committee. There were a number of them in the Problem Solvers Caucus that said, we need to fund more money for the restaurants. There's 177,000 that are still waiting up to eight months ago for their money. And hardly a day goes by where I and the other channels don't call, email, or tweet at someone to get our restaurants the money that they were promised. So ladies and gentlemen, keeping this video under 10 minutes, Moral of the story, they're not gonna run out of money. You have two full years to apply for your increase after the date of your original loan. If you're stuck in reconsideration, don't worry, it'll spill over into next year. If you get rejected on or before the cutoff of December 31, you have another month to apply for reconsideration. And if you haven't served me, served me, heard me, I'm serving you. If you haven't heard me say a thousand times or two, Get a privacy release form from your senators, congressmen, and women. Get a local score.org counselor who has experience with the SBA. Uh, try not to have a brain cramp at 51 years of age. Oh, here's another thing. Contact, hey, we don't edit around here, so if you're new, welcome. Contact your local SBA. More and more of the states, believe it or not, because of the hell that I and Speak and See and others have raised, they're starting to help you out. They cannot fund your loan, but they can reach out to someone and say, hi, I have a constituent in my district. Can you get so-and-so on the phone at PDC Recons? We need to get her funded. More and more are doing that. And again, here's a tip I probably haven't mentioned. Most of the senators, and especially the congressmen and women, Carolyn Bordeaux is one example here in Georgia. They have something called a business advocate or a small business advocate. So after, and I mean after, you get your privacy release forms from them and signed and you briefly explain your problem. You say, hi, who is the small business advocate or business advocate in your office? Can you please have him or her call me back right now? And you're gonna have to call or email several times, but you'll get someone back on the phone who has experience in dealing with situations like this. So until next time, in under 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk about the stock market tomorrow. The sell-off, in my opinion, is coming to an end this week. The week of Thanksgiving into Christmas is typically very strong. Always remember, I love each and every single one of you. And yes, 
in under 10 minutes strong. Thanks for watching.